What's up, fam? It's your boy, Heaven Hollywood, back on IE Network. This is the Heaven Hollywood Report. And let's get to it. Shout out to my sponsor, in case you didn't know. That's IZYDK.blog. Make sure you check them out on all mobile devices in the world wide web. Before we get started, please make sure that you like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss one video. Let's go. And it was supposed to be a good night. Eminem was back in the news. He dropped a new uh, joint off his new project. And this song is called Houdini. Now, this sounds like a return to the old Slim Shady. And people would listen to the song. It seemed like they was enjoying it until they realized that there was a line about Megan the Stallion in the song. Let me just run down the line what is said about Megan the Stallion. Now, of course, half the people saying it was not a diss. It was a shout out. And the other half the people did not like it. And they feel it's a diss. So Eminem said, if I was to ask Megan the Stallion if she would collab with me, what would I really have a shot at a feat? So it's basically if, <laughs> if I had to ask Megan the Stallion if she would collab with me, would I really have a shot in the feet? A shot at a feat, you know, a feature. But then Megan Thee Stallion got shot in her feet. So a lot of Megan Thee Stallion fans are outraged. Then there were some fans of Eminem or people who uh, don't like Megan was saying, oh, she always playing victim. He didn't say anything wrong. He was just making a joke. I, I think the bottom line is, is he serious with that joke? Because, um... You know, he said he sure, he sure didn't apologize, right? So he must feel as though, you know how Eminem is. You know, he puts multiple insults of different celebrities in his records. Not even saying he was doing that here, but Megan the Stallion fan feels as though, feel disrespected. And, they, and they're saying, why is it, why do these men have such a problem Keeping Megan out of their mouth. Why can't they just not mention Megan at all if it's going to be something that is controversial or what have you? All right? They were saying before that, you know, stop trying to use Megan as your marketing plan and just go ahead. If you're going to put out music, put out music, but why keep mentioning Megan? So um, that is their problem. They're saying that he dissed Megan something by saying, well, I really have a shot at the feet, because she was supposed to be sh she was shot in the foot. So, <sighs> um, I don't know how I think it. I I think initially I thought it was a shout out, but now that I think about more and more, I think about it. It's like, why are you even gonna say that? Why just cause unnecessary drama? So, you know, I think it was uncalled for what Eminem did. At the same time, you know. It sounds at first kind of like a compliment, but when when you went through all the stuff that Megan went through with that case, you don't want nobody joking around on it. So, um, you know, joking around about it. So, shout out to Eminem. Shout out to Megan Stein. Y'all let me know what you think. Do you think that was a diss by Eminem or do you think that was just regular? Moving on to that boy, Drizzy Drake. As we all know, Drake is engulfed in this um, beef with Kendrick Lamar. I mean, the beef is over now, but everybody's been talking about this beef now for a month or two. And especially since the records came out and Drake's last record, which was the Heart Part 6, where a lot of people felt as though he was bowing out. Okay, we got all of that. Oh, Kendrick won. Kendrick's the king of rap. Okay, fine. So, but in the aftermath of that, a lot of rappers that were so-called cool with Drake, as long as Drake was doing something for them and collecting his hits and sharing his hits, they were cool with Drake. But now it's been exposed that a lot of these rappers have now went to the other side and say they never really liked Drake or they've been disliking him for a long time. The DJ Academics came out and said he knows of an op of Drake's that no one would know that they were even an op until now. Right, so we'll let you hear what DJ Academic said 
And then we'll come back and we'll ask everybody, who do you think DJ Academics is talking about? With no friends, no allies, no one who really will stand up for him, all the popular rappers are going against him, including, yo, I found out Drake has an op that none of us know that is a huge rapper that we all think is his friend. I found that out like two days ago. I won't even drop the name. I would like, because I, I need to do more digging on that. It just seems, I mean, some of y'all have guessed it. Like, is he and him cool? But we're like, no, they got big records together. They're, no, that nigga hates him too. I'm like, what? What? How come everybody hate him? No, it's not Savage. It's not Savage. The only two friends Drake got. So that was DJ Academics. I actually think that he was saying the only two friends Drake got. He's gonna probably say is is, is Wayne and, and and Savage. I don't know who he said that is, but I want to know the down below. Put in your comments. Who do you think the person is? Now I see most of the people guessing that I see online is saying Travis Scott. You remember right as a uh, like that drop, Travis Scott at Rolling Loud was begging uh, them to play like that, and he knew it was a Drake record. Right, and him and Drake have done a lot of records together. Um, and then it seems like Drake took a shot at Travis Scott on uh, push-ups when he said, "If your BM gets to talking, you know, maybe that'll change. You know, you'd seem everything seems to be so cool, but maybe if your BM start talking, that'll change." So, a lot of people think he was talking about uh, Travis and um, referring to Kylie Jenner. Then there's some people that say they think it's J. Cole. There's some people, I, I see Jay-Z. I even see a couple of people saying, oh, it's definitely Wayne. Because of that thing that resurfaced about Wayne being upset that Drake smashed his girl. Some people think that he's been upset ever since. But because Wayne, because Drake was his moneymaker, he didn't make it seem like that in public. Then some people say it's Lil Baby. He, he's been quiet through this whole thing. They think some people say, oh, oh, it's Lil Baby. I even seen a couple of people say Dirk, even though Dirk had stayed out of it. But they're like, you know, Dirk's supposed to be his guy, and you didn't see Dirk stand up and say nothing. Right? So they have, <laughs> I've, I've seen about six or seven different answers. Well, who do you think? I think, personally, he's talking about Travis. But... Who do y'all think he's talking about? I don't know if DJ Akers ever say anything, but those are the people's names who I saw. Jay-Z, um, Travis, Cole, uh, Dirk, Lil Baby, Wayne. Those are six names I've seen. Y'all let me know. I'm going to tell you one thing. If I'm Drake, I cut everybody off. Like I said before, to me, if Drake should say, should play on the whole white boy thing. I'm a white boy. I'm a culture vulture. After I done gave you Negroes all these damn records. That's right. And I'd say Negroes too. Since y'all said I shouldn't say nigger. I'm going to say Negroes. I gave all you Negroes these, these records. So guess what? For now on, since I'm a pop star, my next collab is going to be with Post Malone. My next collab after that is going to be with um, Jack Harlow. My next collab after that is going to be with Taylor Swift. And I drop three of, those, three of those three singles and make them all go number one and make people sick. Let's see. Y'all said I, I'm a culture vulture? Okay. I, I'll start doing records with white people since that's what you said I am. So we're going to see what Drake does. To me, Drake should cut everybody off. I wouldn't trust none of them. But let me know down below who you think... Um, is the person DJ Academics is referring to. It's your boy Heaven Hollywood for the IE Network. Please like, comment, subscribe. Share the video with your friends. Catch you on the next